Question number 16 says the temperature of 40 gram of water at 20 degrees Celsius would be raised most when mixed with. Assume specific heat of water is 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius. Dear students, let the final temperature of the mixture be theta and the initial temperature of the substance being mixed with the water be theta naught. We can write down that M into 1 into theta naught minus theta would be equal to 40 into 1 into theta minus 20. This is from the concept that the amount of heat loss will be equal to amount of heat gain. That is the concept of calorimetry. Now dear students, from this expression, we can find out the value of theta and this will be equal to 800 plus m into theta naught divided by 40 plus m. We can substitute the values given in every option. In dear students, it is very easy to see that for the option number 4, the value of this theta would be maximum. And therefore for this question, option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 17. Question number 17 says, three identical conducting rods are joined as shown in the figure. Points A and B are maintained at temperatures 300 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius respectively. The temperature of the function G will be. Dear students, if this length is L, then this length will be 2L. It is given that A is maintained at 300 degrees Celsius while B is maintained at 60 degrees Celsius. From the law of heat conduction, we can see that the total incoming current, that is the heat current at C should be equal to zero. If the thermal resistance of AC is R, then the thermal resistance of CV will be 2R. Because the area of projection is same, more is the length, more will be the thermal resistance. If the temperature of C is theta, we can write down that 300 minus theta by r that is the incoming heat current will be equal to the outgoing current that is theta minus 60 by 2r. Dear students, on solving this expression, we can find out the value of theta to be equal to 220 degree Celsius, which means that for this question, option number 2 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the next question, which is question number 18. Question number 18 says, a black body emits radiations of maximum intensity for the wavelength of 4000 angstrom when the temperature of body is 227 degrees Celsius. If the temperature of the body is increased by 1000 degrees Celsius, then the maximum intensity would be observed for the wavelength of. Dear students, from so the Wien's displacement law, the lambda t is a constant which is equal to b. Now, dear students, lambda is the wavelength of the wave for which maximum intensity is observed. From this expression, we can write down that lambda 1 by lambda 2 would be equal to T2 by T1. The final temperature T2 that will be 2227 plus 1000 degrees Celsius. Now we have to convert it in Kelvin would be equal to 3227 plus 273 divided by the initial temperature that will be 2227 plus 273 and this will be equal to 7 divided by 5. Yes, students, we can see that lambda 2 will be equal to 5 into lambda 1 by 7 which will be equal to 5 into 4000 divided by 7. This will be equal to 2 857 angstrom and therefore for this question option number one is the correct answer now let us discuss the question number 19 question number 19 says two cylinders of same diameters one of silver and other of aluminium are placed in contact as shown in figure if the thermal conductivity of silver is k and that of aluminium is k by 5 then the effective thermal conductivity of the composite cylinder in the steady state is dear students in such a case the Effective conductivity, if it is equal to Ke, we can write down that 2 by Ke would be equal to 1 by K1 
plus 1 by k2. Now dear students, it is given that the thermal conductivity of silver is k and the aluminum is k by 5. So we can write down this will be equal to 1 by k plus 5 by k. Therefore, ke would be equal to k by 3 and hence option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 20. Question number 20 says a planet is at a distance r from the sun and its surface temperature is constant at t. Assuming that the planet receives energy only from the sun and loses energy only through radiation from its surface, neglecting atmospheric effects, which of the following is correct for temperature t? Dear students, this is a question based on Stephen's law. We can write down that if the distance of the planet from the sun is r, then the intensity that is received will be p by 4 pi r square into pi r square. This will be the total power and this can be written to be equal to sigma into 4 pi r square into t to the power 4. This is from the concept that the incoming radiation power would be equal to the outgoing radiation power. And from this expression we can see that the temperature will be inversely proportional to r to the power 1 by 2. And therefore option number 4 of this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss question number 21. 